It is often not appreciated the magnitude of activities that the Commission undertakes during general elections. Not only the recruitment and training of about a million people to serve as ad hoc staff, the magnitude of materials mobilized for our election is simply enormous. For instance, INEC has printed 421.7 million ballot papers for the six scheduled elections, as well as 13.6 million leaves of result forms for the presidential election alone. Indeed, managing 91 political parties and 23,316 candidates for whom votes will be cast in 119,973 polling units by over 84 million voters is certainly astounding. No doubt, preparations for the 2019 general elections have been extensively tasking for INEC. It is therefore not unexpected that such a tremendous national mobilization of men and materials will encounter operational challenges and we have had our own fair share of these, uh, of these challenges. The Commission has been sued or joined in 640 court cases arising from the nomination of candidates alone. As of today, there are 40 different court orders against the Commission on whether to add or drop candidates. Interestingly, the last order actually arrived yesterday. I want to appeal to Nigerians and all other stakeholders for their understanding in what has been a very difficult decision for the Commission. Our decision is entirely taken by the Commission. It has nothing to do with security, nothing to do with political influence, nothing to do with availability of resources. We believe that ultimately this decision is good for our democracy and for our country. I wish to assure you of our commitment to free, fair, and credible elections. As chairman of INEC, and on behalf of the Commission, we take full responsibility for what happened, and we regret any inconvenience our decision might have caused.